Hello and welcome. This time I want to show you how to install. Well, this time we are installing uh, a web server, web server in our Raspberry, which is I'm always doing it like this because it's just lying on the floor here. So we're installing a web server. Why we're we installing a web server? Because later we want to install PHP My Admin. It's called as a program, it's a web-based application where we can control our databases. Okay, so this is why we are, need a web server on our Raspberry. I have decided I will use uh, Apache web server because A, it's widely known, yeah? it's everywhere, Apache web servers, uh, and it's in the repository of Raspbian, Raspberry OS. So, let's start installing our web server on our Raspberry. What do we have to do? I have to do, of course, the repository. Yeah? We need to update our repository again. Yeah? We need to get the newest version yeah, of our App Store repository, it's called here, that way. Yeah? So, we do a sudo yeah, apt-get update. That's it. Now it's downloading the new version and so on, comparing. Uh, yeah. It's simply updating the, the packages. Aha! Okay. Temporary error was already, was really temporary. Okay. Worked. Yeah. Now we do have uh, our new packages and now, now we do an upgrade. This simply means all installed packages are then at the newest versions. Book. Yeah. Going very fast because we did this not long time ago. Okay. The longer the last time is, is in the past, yeah, the longer it will take to upgrade course because there are new much more much more new <laughs> a lot of newer uh, packages which all needs to be upgraded okay so now we're installing Apache 2 okay that's our web server how do we do this we do sudo apt this is this repository stuff install Apache 2 Okay. That's the command, book, loading the package information, downloading, installing, configuring, installing, blah, blah, blah. There is now the install. Okay. This will take a while. After this, we already have our web server running. It's really not that complicated, right? Install it. And then in the base configuration, it's there. Yeah. We'll see afterwards, we'll type in uh, the IP address of our Raspberry and it will show us the default web page of our web server. And let's try this. Yeah. Ta -ta. It works, it's written there. Okay, really, really, we have installed our web server. Yeah? So the web browser is able to open this. Now we do uh, have to do some right things. Okay, we have to select the correct rights for our user. Our user here on Raspberry OS is Pi. Yeah. And the web pages are located in the directory slash var slash www slash html. This is where the web page is located. This page is now there. Uh, to do so, we will use a user group www 
data. Okay, so we add our Raspberry user, yeah. So we make a user mod, yeah. A G This means we want to add it to the group www data yeah? and which user? The pi user. The pi user should be added to the group www was this minus sign data yeah? book done. Yeah? And now we give the user group www data yeah? the right to change something in the or to own this this uh, subdirectory, okay? Actually, we change it to to the owner. Huh? Everybody who is inside this user group is then looking like the owner of this subdirectory and have the corresponding rights. Okay? So we do it like this: sudo change owner, chown, chown, yeah. www data double point www data yeah. and now the folder yeah, folder and this was var www html this is the folder where we want to have the rights okay we want to be the owner book done yeah. so we should be we should have the co correct rights. Yeah? If we do, if we do uh, now relog in in our Raspberry, so we do an exit. Yeah? I will start my putty, 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 and this is the black Raspberry. Open. Here we are. Now we are again logging in as pi and we never change this password now we should have the rights on we should be owner of this www.html file yeah let's change to this var www uh, HTML. Yeah. Let's list here. The only thing inside is this index.html. This index.html is exactly this file here. Yeah. Okay. Index.html is always the one which is usually loaded. Yeah. yeah. That's now our basic uh, web server can do HTML and so on. What it cannot do is PHP, so server-side scripts. Uh, so every PHP file is not, Apache 2 is not able to run PHP files. Okay. What to do about this? If we do want to run PHP files, yeah, we need to install PHP interpreter. This is an add-on to this, you can think about it as an add-on of this Apache web server. So we install PHP on our Apache web server. Do we want to do this? Yes, we have to, because we want to use PHP my admin. Okay? And this is already a hint. It's written in PHP. Yeah? So our Arduino, uh, Arduino, Raspberry of course, <laughs> our Raspberry, needs to be able to handle PHP files. This we are doing now. So, let's start PHP as well. By the way, if we open this, this index.html with nano, we see this is the HTML file. Yeah. And there must be somewhere written this. It works and so on. This is the default welcome page. 
this is the default welcome page, it's exactly this file, okay? So, if it would change something inside in this text file, we can do, okay? What do we have to install? Yeah. sudo apt install, and now we're installing php 7, 7.3. Hmm. Then there are a lot of things we need to install with, yeah, just I have my wisdom about this from the internet and I did not really thought of what it should do. Yeah? So I type it in, yeah, ah, simply make it like this. I will even I will even make a copy and paste. That's the line. Yeah. apt install php 7.3 php blah 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 some add-on packages book it's installing. Okay. It also takes a while. Yeah. PHP, what is PHP? PHP is a server side thing yeah it's you can write scripts in this php language yeah and the scripts are not uh interpreted not run in the client so in the web browser somewhere this would be javascripts for instance they are running in the web browser and php scripts are running on the server so if you for instance can write a php script making a request in the database yeah. Then the PHP script is requesting in the database the data and then already bringing the data into the web page which is transferred. This has the big advantage that uh, no data, login data or something like this from the database needs to get outside. Okay? It's just in PHP. PHP is on the local machine. Every data stays on the local machine, only the requested data. Yeah, not passwords, not usernames, something like this, is passed to the client. Yeah. This is actually the, the reason why we do this. Yeah. So this PHP stuff is running on our Raspberry then, not in the web browser. JavaScript would run in the web browser. Usually it's some um, on web applications, it's working together. There is a server side, PHP, there is a client side, and a web browser side, uh, JavaScript, and they work together and you see whatever you see. Yeah? Makes all the wonders in the net possible. Good. It's installed. Now we should be able to install PHP admin. Now, this was the necessary. These were the necessary steps to install uh, a web browser capable of running PHP scripts. Ah, it was not that complicated, I would say. Yeah? Just a few commands: install web server, take over user rights of the uh, directory where the web page is in, uh, install. PHP. Ready. Yeah. Now our system is ready to get PHP MyAdmin installed. If you're interested in, yeah, you can watch the video or you can watch the video on how to use PHP admin. Or you just relax. Yeah. <laughs> for this time. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.